Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. So I have a little friend with me today. I'm not alone on this little mish. Hi. We have Nikki with us today. It's one of my best friends in the world, <laughs> right here. And this is the first, actually, this is the first video I've ever done with someone else. Apart from my girlfriend, of course. Ah. But we're as friends and having someone else on my adventures, this is the first time. A guest appearance. Guest appearance. Ah. So what we're doing is we're heading up Devil's Kitchen. If you've seen my, one of my previous videos, we, I'll leave a link for that. But um, we're going to head up Devil's Kitchen up here to the top. Scramble up there and we're going to camp at the top there. There's a nice little lake, right? Yeah. So um, we're going to head up there. But the reason we're doing this um, yeah. is for Nikki to have a bit of training, actually. She wants to train for something that's coming up. So do you want to tell them what you're going to be doing? Sure. So there's a group of us who are going to be hiking 20 mountains in the Snowdonia National Park um, over three days. And we're doing this as a charity event. So one of my good friends, Sean, has some charities that he set up in Malawi. And he um, was planning to do an event called Walk for Water, where he was going to hike 123 mountains, all the mountains in Snowdonia National Park with no support vehicle and carrying everything he needed on his back. It was going to take him about two weeks. Um, and he was doing that to raise awareness for the plight of how people have to walk really long distances um, to get access to clean, safe water in Malawi. Sadly, Sean, wasn't able to complete the challenge. It was took him four years to plan it out. He was due to do it in um, March 2020, I think, yeah. um, before the pandemic. Yeah. Um, Sean lost his life whilst delivering aid um, to the orphan centres in Malawi. Um, so, as as his friends and family want to honour. Sean and complete some of this challenge for him. Hi, uh, Hi mate. Um, so that's what the training, uh, <laughs> training day today is. Guy will put the um, Just Giving page if anybody wants to donate to this cause and read a little bit more about it as well. Or you can look for Third World Hope um, and you can find out there more about what the charities are doing over in Malawi. Yeah, man. Yeah, so Third World Hope is the charity that Sean has going, you know. He um, set it up himself with a friend back in quite a few years ago now, isn't it? Yeah. But it's been going. He's been helping people in Malawi there. And like Nikki said, his life got taken away a couple of years ago. So, um, yeah, Third World Hope is the charity that he's got going. It's still running. You're more than welcome to donate there. And also to this walk that they're doing, you know. I'm going to be in work. I'm absolutely gutted. I can't do it. But, um... Nikki and a load of others are going to be doing it. So this is the whole... Why oh, she's got this huge bag on her back <laughs> that we've been packing for about three hours, by the way. And the Don't rest. lie. And so, the rest. <laughs> Lakeside. So we've got the sun just going down there. We're going to be going into the shade for a little while, but once we get onto the top, we should have the sun for a good few hours. We've got a couple of... Uh, Wild swimmers there. Nutters. Actually, Nikki, you're going to be doing some, aren't you? Yeah. You brought your swimming stuff. She likes Got a little swim. Oh, crazy, mate. Crazy. Didn't catch me in there. No chance. But yeah, there's a little lake up there. And Nikki's going to have a little dip in, she reckons. To be fair, you've been in ice and everything, right? Yeah. There's pictures of her online. Just yeah, like breaking the ice up to get, to get in. in into the lake, you know? I don't know how they do it. Seriously. Here she goes, the scrambler. She's on it. <laughs> she, she can't even lift her head up because the bag's restricting her. There you go, check them views out. You there? Nice one. I think so. That's a pretty big one, that. Still can't look up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look down. How are you feeling? Alright, Getting there. 
Yeah. So this is the way we're going. So we're heading up there, right, Nick? To the left? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to kind of go through this little gap here. <laughs> Doing well, mate. Cheers, bird. Doing well, yeah. There we go. So that's Penarol Wen. That's another mountain on the opposite side. Is that part of the... The yeah, that's the first one that we do on day two. So we start on the hike. Yeah, on the hike. Yeah. First day we're hiking up Snowdon, Bladevach, Bladevour, and Trevan. Yeah. And then camping in the valley here. And then on the second day we start with Penarolwen. And then I think. On to Carnestowellen and all that kind of thing. Yeah. And then there's a couple more. But yeah, yeah. Is that, part, is that part of the Carnadai? That's, yeah, that's that is part of the Carnadai. Oh, yeah. sound. So that must be one of the first Carnadai mountains and this yeah. it changes here, doesn't it, basically? So Gladarai. Gladarai, yeah. Gladarai. Gladarai. All these Welsh words, yeah. Oh, yeah, Gladarai. That's Welsh, that, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, so that, I haven't done that. And yeah, I do want to do it because you get a really nice view of Trovan, one of my favourite mountains to look at. Want to continue? You ready? Let's go. Go. Um, you first. At your pace, mate, at your pace. Oh, a snail's pace. <laughs> we'll get there in the end. <laughs> so we're close to the top now. Hi. 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 So we've just got this little thing to hop over here and it's not far up there now. A few minutes. What did you say? Five minutes or something? Yeah. Yeah, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Beautiful views, eh? Beautiful evening. So Nick's just brought us off piste, <laughs> off the path. Only a tiny too, bit. Too much chatting. Moidering first. Moidering, moidering. It's <laughs> like a good moider. But we've just come through this bogginess, look. The path's over there somewhere, but we're not too far. Ah, I can see the little lake now. Little lake is just showing there. So that is uh, a garden, which is another peak that you can, obviously from where we are, we just head up there. And then you can come down various ways from there also. But for now, we're just heading this way. The sun's going to be out by the looks of it for another couple of hours at least. Look at that. Nice little lake there. Fill our bottles of water up and everything there. Cooking, Nice cooking facility of a lake. So what do you think, right. Nick? What do you reckon? Everywhere's soggy under... <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere's got soggy, Everywhere's soggy foot. <laughs> so we're trying to find a place to pitch our tent basically and all the ground is very soggy and damp. So um, there's a lot of ground here obviously but there's someone else camping over there by the way look. But um, all the ground's a little bit soggy so we're just trying to find our perfect spot aren't we? Part of the adventure. Part of the adventure. Find we're to put the hotel. Yeah. Anyways we'll manage. We'll get there. Right folks so we've just found this nice little spot that I've, I suggested before, but Nikki was like, nah. <laughs> Is this mate? <laughs> I've got that there, it's lovely. So we've just been looking her up for about 20 minutes. We, Nikki Close spotted this before. Place. She was like, yeah, nice. down there. And I was like, nah, it's going to be a bit wet and a bit, I don't know. Anyway, but we've decided this is the best option we've got. And it's right lakeside, look at that. Midgey heaven though. Yeah, there's a lot of midges here, but we're going to hope, we're hoping they're going to leave, you know, well. once the sun goes down and all that. But anywhere. Nikki's getting her tops on just so that she yeah. doesn't get bitten to death. So they can't get in. So, yeah, we're going to set our tents up here now, get some food on, and just enjoy this evening now, innit? We're here. In it. This is where the hotel's going to be, innit? Look at these midges. There's Guy. Erecting my Setting hotel for the night. Up. This will be our hotel. Fine erection, sir. Do you reckon? Midges absolutely everywhere. We're camping right by a lake here, you see, so it's they're the gonna die off. The once cost the, uh, of the beauty spot. Once the evening prevails, keeps. He's got his dinner on there. Yeah. Gourmet. Gourmet pasta. Some gourmet pasta going on. Better get started on mine. Yeah. Nikki setting hers up there. Done it all by herself. Well done, mate. Cheers, la. This is our little setup. My little beast there. Sleeping in this for the first time. So I bought these. And I bought me. the. Ah, yeah, and you. Yeah. So I bought my setup. It must be a year ago, about this year, this same time last year. And it's Nikki's first time also. So looking forward to it actually. It's really easy to set up that. I've got a nature hike um, cloud up too, I think it is. And you've got a Van Gogh, haven't you? Yeah, Van Gogh Banshee 200. Van Gogh Banshee 200. We'll let you know how it goes. So. 
she's just trying to do it by herself because she needs to do this obviously when she goes on the big hike she needs to be able to do it herself yeah so i'm not be i'm not being lazy she's just opted to have no help a couple of ducks in the lake there check that out nick swanning Aww. about eh? Doesn't get much more perfect than that, right? So we're having to use Nikki's huge head torch here for a bit of light to do this. We've just set, well, we're just gonna go to sleep in a minute, aren't we, basically? Oh, it's so bright in my face, like, <laughs> <laughs> look a little bit to the side. <laughs> Is that better? No, nah, yeah, that's better, man. Better. <laughs> we're having to use Nikki's head torch for a bit of light here to do this little bit of video. But basically, we're going to go to sleep now. It's about half ten, so we've had some dinner. Nice little munch. Night, folks. Nice start. You can see there's Nikki with the head torch. He, he needs to can't see it. He my blind, in it. Yeah. <laughs> nice start. Good morning everybody. So it's about 6.30 a.m. Woken up real early. It's a little bit chilly last night. My toes were a bit chilly. So I've just woken up fairly early. As you can see, the mists come in on the mountains. Not quite as clear as it was last night. Sorry if my speech is a bit slurred. I'm really tired, I've just woken up. But you can see there, there's a bit of a break in the clouds. Look how fast that mist's moving over the tents. Beautiful, beautiful. So I'm just taking my legs for a little stretch. Anyway, it's pretty fresh this morning. It's very chilly. Nice way to wake up though. I think we're just gonna get the tents down and we're gonna head down pretty pretty sharpish. We're not gonna hang about today. Nikki's still sleeping. <laughs> she's not a morning person, I don't think. But um, she said to wake her up if she's not up before 8, 8 a.m. So, like I said, it's just gone 6.30 here now. Look at this. So scenic. Okay, so I walked a little bit that way and it's a false horizon. It was just like a, pl a vast plain, so you couldn't really see much. And because of the mist, there's no visibility. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk up the garden path. I'm not gonna go to the top, I don't think. But I just want to see this mist. I want to go and have a little, just a walk to there. Just to see if we can look down on the valley from there. I believe there's a guy sleeping down here. There's a tent down there, look. He was telling us last night that there's a perfect little spot down here for pitching your tent. And you can see right down the valley. So it might be a good idea for me to go and find that now for the future, you know? Oh, hello, little lamb. Have you just woken up? I think I just woke him up, but look how nice and kind of clear it's become. And then look at that mist coming in behind me there, look. It's just billow billowing up there, just like it's, like there's a fire down there or something, you know? It's so cool. Look at that. So, I was just coming to this section here because that's where it was really billowing out before. It stopped there now and it's decided to come through this gap. <laughs> yeah, look at that. There you go. When you're on the top of a mountain and you're not quite sure where you are and that comes in thick, it can be quite dangerous and scary, you know? Look at that. Thin Ogwen down there. Ogwen Lake, that's the lake where we parked up by. Look at this. Look at this spot for a camp. What? Ow. I'm gutted you didn't find this. Perfect spot for your tent there. Look at that. Looking straight down onto both lakes. That's the lake we walked past yesterday. Llyn And that's uh, Ogwen. Llyn <laughs> Ogwen. 
not to shame the mists here because you'd see all the other mountains and everything obviously it's not the best time to get the whole view without that mist you'd see for miles well folks if we ever come back up here camping again i know where i'm gonna come and come and check out for sure the ground's pretty flat it's off the path quite a bit the path's way back over there so wow what a spot I'm pretty sure this is where that guy said that bit there nice spot for a tent the only thing like i say you're a little bit exposed depending on which way the wind's coming if it's coming from this way yeah it's not a great place but if the wind's coming from this way it's not so bad because it's kind of getting deflected off the off the hills behind it there so you might be quite sheltered here it's all about planning folks it's all about planning this camping malarkey isn't simple it's not simple anyway Go and see if Nikki, that lazy little person, has woken up yet. Time to give her a little shake. So on the other side of the mountain range, you can see it's nice and clear. Well, sunny underneath the clouds there. That side, <laughs> that's a different world. That's the way we're heading in a bit. So I've been warned by Nikki herself that she's not a morning person. So maybe. Let's not get our hopes up for her being so bubbly as she was yesterday, first thing this morning, eh? Let's see. Whoa, you shit me on that, bro. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> no worries. Jeez. On my own and some guy is just... Uh... He shit me up, man. I didn't hear him until the last minute then. Whoa. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, let's not expect Nikki to be as bubbly as what she was yesterday, first thing this morning, eh? Hope she's not too cranky, though. Hope she's not like the Grinch. Well, there's no sign of movement down there. Everything looks quiet. That Nicky snoring. So here we have the mentalist going for a little dip in the morning. morning. <laughs> here she is, full of beans, ready to go. Man, you're nuts, I'm telling you. I'm cold. And she's doing this shit. Crazy. You're gonna fall, yeah? 250 pounds for me if you fall, mate. Straight to Jer Jeremy, what's his name? Jeremy Beadle. Jeremy Beadle. I wish I had the balls to do that. Whoa. I do. I know it's good for you, but I just can't do it. <laughs> ah, look, she hasn't got the balls to go in. This is where you count yourself in in your head about 10 times because you don't go over <laughs> Do you want me to count for you? Yeah. To 10? No, 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1, go. Whoa. Oh my god. And she's gone mental. Oh, oh that is tough, mate. That is tough. Am I annoyed? Yeah. Taking your breath away, yeah? Yeah. Be careful. Look at that. Not a bad place for a dip, but that will be freezing, folks. That will be properly cold. Mist's coming in again. Bonkers! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Freezing, mate. Where's your towel? Do you want me to get your towel? Nah, oh, she's struggling to get out there, look. And I can't I can't do anything about it. I can't do anything about it. Anyway, we're gonna get the tents down in a minute. We're gonna get these little babies down and we're gonna head head down. Well there we go folks. That was our little Camp. How did you enjoy that, Nick? Amazing. Good. Yeah. Amazing. Good How was your swim? Cold. Good. Cold. Exhilarating. <laughs> Exhilarating. Yeah, something I need to start doing actually. But anyways, we're just coming back down to the car park here now. My legs are absolutely killing. But we just wanted to say goodbye. And don't forget about the links we're going to leave in the description box below regarding the charity and the fundraiser for the charity. So, later, yeah. Bye. See you later. Peace. <laughs>